Let's work this out. And in this situation, we have the numbers. This is a definite integral. So we are not just going to find the antiderivative, but then we also have to plug in the numbers and then do the subtraction. Here we have x times the cube root of x plus the fourth root of x inside. And we shall distribute the x into the parentheses first because you know, we have to make sure that the powers not, are not going to affect each other. So to do that, right here, what we should be doing is look at the cube root of x as x to the one third power. So this right here, the cube root of x, is just the like same as x to the one third power. So let me write this down. This is the integral from 0 to 1. x is just the x, but this is x to the one third power. And then we add the second part. This is the fourth root. So the fourth root is going to be x to the one fourth power dx. And we distribute, this is like x to the first power. And we distribute the first power into the parentheses. We still haven't done anything with the integral yet, okay? Just the algebra for now, right? So this is from 0 to 1. x to the 1 power, x to the first power, times x to the 1 third power, we are going to add the exponents. 1 plus 1 third will give you 4 thirds. So this is x to the 4 thirds. Once again, this is because 1 plus uh, 1 third. That's how we get the four thirds, okay? And then do the same right here. Plus, we have the x. This is x to the first times x to the one fourth. So this is like four fourths plus one fourth. We get five fourths. So this is because we have the one plus the one fourth, okay? And then that's all the algebra that we can do for now. And that's it, right, for the, all the algebras. And we can put parentheses, or maybe not, doesn't really matter. But then we are ready to go. We can do the reverse power rule now. This is x to the fourth power. There's nothing else. It's going to affect the exponent. So now I will just add 1 right here. This plus 1 is because of the backward power rule, the reverse power rule. So 4 thirds plus 1, this is x 3 over 3. So we have 7 over 3, okay? And that's why I raised the little numbers earlier, because I add 1, we are doing the reverse power rule. The new exponent will be 7 thirds. And then what we have to do is divide it by 7 thirds, which is the same as multiply by 3 over 7. And that's the first part. So for the entire derivative of x to the 4 thirds, we are going to have 3 over 7 x to the 7 over 3 for the first one. And for the second one, here we have 5 fourths. I add 1 to the exponent. 5 fourths plus, this is like 4 fourths, so we have 9 fourths. And then we have to divide by the new exponent, which is the same as multiply by 4 over 9. So we have plus 4 over 9 x to the 9 over 4. That's the antiderivative. And because we have numbers, this is a definite integral, we don't need to worry about the plus c. All we need to worry right now is, put a parenthesis perhaps, we are going to plug in x is equal to 0 right here, x is equal to 1, right? The integral is going from 0 to 1. So let me just show you the computation. We plug in the upper limit first, plugging 1 to all these x, so we are going to get 3 over 7 times 1 to the 7 over 3 power, plus 4 over 9 times 1 to the 9 over 4 power. Just to show you guys the work. And just to show you guys the work, this is the first part. I have to subtract, plugging 0 into there, plugging 0 into this x, and plugging 0 into that x. So this is 3 over 7 times 0 to the 7 over 3, and then plus 4 over 9 times 0 to the 9 over 4. But this part doesn't matter because it's zero, right? But it's good to show all the work. Anyways, we'll be focusing on the first part. 3 over 7 times 1 to this power is just 1. So we have 3 over 7 plus 1 to that power is just 1. So we have 3 over 7 plus 4 over 9. And the rest is just have fun with fractions. Get the common denominator. I need a 9 right here. So we can get 6t3. 
then I need to multiply by 7. So on the top, we have 27 over 63, plus this is 28 over 63. And then when we add 27 and 25 together, I mean 27 plus 28 together, what do we get? Uh, as I said, I wish you guys can help me out, but then let me just tell you, we are going to get 55 over 63 for the answer. That's it.